Hey friends, Gator Mom here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today we're talking all about this small Metro Tote Deluxe from MZ Wallace. my videos and it has been right around a year since I have done a packing video on the small Metro Tote Deluxe. I can't believe it has actually been that long. I feel like I just reviewed this bag because it is one of my favorite styles and every time I unbox one or show you guys like what I bought in a certain month from MZ Wallace and this style is there, a ton of you want to see an updated review and packing video, which I can't blame you. It's a very popular style from MZ Wallace. Like I said, it is one of my favorites, one of my most used, one of my most grabbed for. So I am happy to do an updated review. <laughs> this color here is absolutely gorgeous. It has to be one of my favorite MZ Wallace colors that has ever been released. Definitely my favorite this year for sure. The pink on this Zinnia color is really, really pretty. It's kind of hard to capture, but I feel like the natural lighting coming in here is really kind of giving a true picture as to what this bag looks like. It's a not too bright, not too light. Like I think it's just the perfect pink really. Like it's not too magenta, but it's not too ballet baby pink at all. Um, it's just a really, really gorgeous pink that I think pairs with a ton of different stuff really well for spring and summer. So just to give those of you an idea that aren't familiar with the Metro line from MZ Wallace, they have a couple of different sizes. They have a mini Metro, I believe. Yes, like a mini Metro bag, which is smaller than this one. They have this size here, which is the small Metro Tote Deluxe. And then they have a medium Metro Tote and a large Metro Tote. I'm pretty sure I have reviewed all of the sizes at some point. Um, the small here is I don't want to say it's my favorite Metro size, but I mean, it's definitely my most grabbed for my most used. I get asked a ton if um, I would recommend someone buying the small versus the medium Metro tote. And the main difference um, between those two styles is really the handle here at the top of it. The small Metro tote deluxe has this shorter kind of grab handle situation that you can put here over the crook of your arm, whereas the medium Metro tote has longer tote straps so that you could easily wear it um, over your shoulder. As you can see here, it's very, very tight on me to wear over my shoulder and I don't have anything packed inside of it. So when it's packed full, it's even a little bit tighter as far as the tote drop length, if that makes any sense. But the reason I like the small is because you do have that flexibility to kind of wear it like this when you're grabbing it um, in and out of places. But because it is a deluxe version, it has a crossbody or shoulder type carry option with this um, messenger strap that it comes with. So you can easily use this still to carry it over your shoulder. You can wear it crossbody if you needed to be hands-free and you're planning on kind of using this one for travel. It's a great kind of flexible type tote bag, yet you still have that cute little like grab handle option. The crossbody strap here is removable. So if it's not your jam and you just want to carry it here by these um, two handles at the top, you definitely have that flexibility there. Usually when I'm carrying this one, nine times out of 10, I'm just going to keep this strap on it. It doesn't bother me just kind of hanging out on the bag. And that way I can grab it if I, you know, want to be hands-free. As far as pockets on the inside of this one, you really do have a ton. You have a pocket here on the front of the bag that goes about halfway down if I remember. No, nope, it goes almost the whole way down the front. So you have like a nice deep pocket here. You have the same type of pocket back here on the back of the um, tote as well. And then looking down on the top of the tote, you have the main opening here, which I actually have unzipped. And then you have two more zip pockets. So you have one here and one here. And these pockets are very, very large. They unzip, not the whole way across, but a good width here. And then they open up nice and big so that you can put a bunch down in here. So lots of different ways that you can organize this one. I personally like to pack this one with pouches because it is such kind of a big, 
unstructured, comfy tote that I like to be able to just pull out whatever pouch it is that I'm trying to get whatever out of the inside of the bag. So you'll see that in a minute whenever we pack it up. But as far as pockets on the inside of this one, you do have these two slip pockets and then you have another <laughs> zip pocket, but this one's an interior kind of zipper pocket. And then you also have on the inside a key leash if you want to attach a wallet or headphones or something that you want to be able to find pretty easily. So I know I kind of already tried this on for you whenever I was talking earlier, but just to kind of give you one more look, I am um, five foot nothing for size reference, just kind of for height wise. Um, I will typically wear this bag over the crook of my arm like this, or if I want to be hands free, I will put it cross body like so. The strap is easily adjustable, so if you need to make it shorter or longer, um, if you are taller, you could definitely be fine with this strap. It has a lot more give in it than what I actually have it adjusted on. And these handles are really soft. They just kind of fold down on the bag here whenever you're wearing it. So they're not like sticking up or getting in the way or anything like that. All right, let's go ahead and set the camera down so that you can see what fits inside this small Metro tote. And as a reminder, I will have linked down below my what's in my bag blog page that always lives on my website. It will have links to anything that you see packed inside my bags um, from wallets to pouches to tech stuff to little gadgets. The odds are if you've seen it packed in my bag, you're going to find it somewhere on that page. Um, so definitely check that out if you're looking to shop anything that I share today. All right, so here we are all packed up. And I think one of my favorite things about the Metro totes from MZ Wallace is you can fit so much inside of them, so much. I have this one packed, I think pretty much to the max, to be honest. And I don't think it's too big or bulky or anything like that. But if I didn't want to pack all of these things out, if I wanted to pull out a couple of things, I could easily carry it with less inside and it still be like a super cute carry. So let's get into it because there is a lot in here. In this front pocket of the bag, I just have my hand cream. I also have a hand sanitizer in here and I've actually been really liking this brand. I found them on Amazon. They're small, compact, but one of the best parts about them is they are refillable. So you can actually just use this again and refill the hand sanitizer on the inside. So kind of, I don't know, saves the little container for a little bit longer, but this is the lavender scent and it smells really good. So I have that there on that front pocket. I'm just kind of moving my way back of the bag here. The top zipper pocket here on the front, I just have my um, wallet. This is the Ondar wallet and I have it pretty packed. There's a bunch of cards in here. I have my key card to get into my office. I have my house key, car keys, all that. And this is the uh, dinner wallet from Ondar. So I have that in there. And then I also have this cute little Longchamp coin purse. I literally just got this in the mail and I pulled it out and I immediately packed it up in my bag because I was obsessed with it. Like it is so cute and it comes in a ton of different colors. I just got the 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 same color which is called paper in the large um tote from longchamp so i can't wait to share that with you guys but inside here i actually just have a couple of tech things that i grab for rather frequently so that's why i kind of have them in this bag i have my airpods down in here the case fits perfectly in this cute little coin purse and this is a case that i got off of amazon you guys have seen this in a bunch of my videos here so i have that in there and i also have my charger my block and my port and all that fit inside that coin purse perfectly i think that's all i had inside yeah that's all i had inside this zipper pocket here you can really fit more in these outside pockets but i have a lot packed on the inside tons of different pouches so i just put things that i know that i don't need to grab for more frequently in these outside pockets um, i don't bulk them up with unnecessary things so back here in this outside pocket I just have um, Uno cards for the kids. <laughs> These are great for summer because they are plastic and waterproof. So we've been playing with those a lot lately. I have my portable charger, which has all of the different cables on the end of it. And you can actually turn it on to see how much life you have left in your battery, which is awesome. So I have that in there and I think, oh, my eyeglasses. That's the only other thing I have in that outside pocket. In this back small like slip pocket, I just keep it open for my phone. Nine times out of 10, I'm gonna have this like in my back pocket or holding it in my hand, but 
I always kind of keep a pocket open if I want to plop it in there. All right, moving on to the main bulk of the bag. <laughs> I have so much packed in here and it looks so pretty because I picked all of my pink pouches. Like how cute is that? I really like the way that I have it packed up. I kind of have it zoomed in a little bit here just so that you can see a little bit better. Here we go. What everything looks like. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I don't have anything in these front slip pockets or this back zipper pocket, again, because I used all of this interior space. So let's pull everything out right here tucked. I have the cutest little Lululemon pouch. I love this little thing. I'll try to go quickly. I have just small uh, lens wipes. I have my little adapter for um, my computer or my iPad up there. And then inside here, I have sticky notes, I have my memory card case, I have all of the pens and highlighters in the world in here. <laughs> so it's like my little kind of uh, tech slash planner pouch, if you will. So that's inside this one. I love this little mini size of this pouch. And I have right here a pouch by MZ Wallace. And this one, unfortunately, is not for sale on the website. It was a um, gift at the beginning of the year and I think it was like a one-time thing because I haven't seen them since um, so this particular one I can't link for you but inside I just have all of my like, cosmetic stuff I have hair ties more lens wipes more hair ties all that small stuff up here and then back here in the main bulk I have everything everything that you would need ever and ever amen <laughs> lip products for days. I have body slash. I have a face mister because it is summertime. And I use that all the time. Um, I have my pill case, these little teeth things, um, and it goes on and on and on and on. Eye drops, more lip stuff, cuticle cream. All of that is just tucked down inside this pouch. The next pouch I have here is by Lily Pulitzer and I found it actually on Amazon. It is a insulated pouch. And it's great for summer because it's not like that ugly, crinkly insulation. It's just really good material. So I have a couple of chips in there. I have granola bars. I have chicken sticks. It's like my little snack bag. So nothing melts. I love that. I use this a lot or some type of insulated pouch in the summertime. It's also really great if you have littles and you need to pack crayons or things like that that tend to melt in the summer. This would be a great little pouch for that. All right, next inside here, it all, it all kind of goes like a accordion, if you will. Um, but as you unpack it, the bag kind of flops over because it's unstructured. But um, I just have back here my planner, Erin um, Condren planner and my notebook. This is my smaller notebook. I have this one and I have the large one, but I have both of those items just kind of laying in there. And then last but not least, which this might, you guys might find a little weird, but I have the large packing case from Lily Jade. And inside here, I have my Kindle and the current book that I'm reading attached to the wristlet because there's so many times that I pull one or both of these out when I'm in my car or at nighttime when I'm just ready to wind down for the night and I don't wanna carry like my big bag upstairs or I don't wanna pull my big bag from the back or however I have it so I can just pull this out and I have exactly everything that I need to read. So I have my Kindle down in here and then I have a book that I just started, which is the Windy City series, I think it's called, but this is the first one, Mile High. So a lot of you recommended it. I have high hopes. I'm only about three chapters in, so we shall see. But I think this little plan for me is gonna work out really well. All right, so that's everything I have packed down inside. I'll give you kind of one last look of it empty. There is a little key leash in there that I didn't use and again, I didn't use any of these interior pockets. I had it packed really, really full. Um, you do not have to pack this bag as much as I did. Um, it's just how I happen to have it packed right now. So um, anyways, that is everything I had inside. All right, I think that does it for today's video. I sure hope it was helpful for those of you that were wanting to see this small Metro Toad Deluxe from MZ Wallace all packed up. I will have my MZ Wallace affiliate link down below as well as my What's in My Bag blog page so that you can shop this bag and shop anything that you saw um, in my bag. <laughs> if you have any questions, comments, um, feel free to leave those down below. I'm always happy to help. Until next time, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.